All right, Bear, time to write a banger. Uh... Oh my God, I just, I just don't know what to write. Do you want to write a banger? What? Don't know where to start? Yeah. Do you need a cheat code? Oh. Well, this is for you. Let's go! Bam! Hello. Writing a straight banger is a lot easier than you think. A lot of people tend to overcomplicate, overthink about how to write an awesome song. But songwriting shouldn't be hard. It should be easy and fun. So today, I'm gonna show you the keys to the Lamborghini. The complete beginner. An easy three-step process on how to write a song that you're gonna enjoy and you're gonna jam out with all your friends. Let's get started. <laughs> Music is simple. It can be broken down into three basic things. Chord structure, rhythm, and melody. From Polyphia to Jack Johnson, every artist uses these three components to write their songs. And once we can understand that, we can start writing out bangers easily. So for this example, I'm gonna use the classic hit from Justin Bieber, Hold On, to explain on how to write a straight banger. Oh, hey guys, before we start, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna be brutally honest here. Pretty much every popular song uses the same basic two to three chord progressions. Let's take for example here, Hazel Sister. I'm yours. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. Tried to be chill, but you're so. Everything is the exact same chords. So what I'm going to do is basically take a chord progression of a song I like. So if you like a certain song and you like that vibe, I would recommend just taking that chord progression. So for this example, I'm going to be using the chord progression of Hold On from Justin Bieber to start writing my own song. And in that song, Justin Bieber's, it's C minor. B major, A major. I was listening to this song, it was stuck in my head, and then I learned it, and I was like, geez, that was the easiest progression ever. I thought it was so much harder, but that's the thing. You can use any progression you want, no one's really gonna care if you took it from another song, because let's be honest, every song rips off other songs. Where did all the originality go? I don't know. Now you can use any progression from any song you like, Really, as a beginner, I would recommend just stealing progressions. And once you get more and more advanced, you can start writing your own progressions. But for now, let's just rip off songs because every one rips off each other. It's not a, it's not a big deal. If you want to write a happy song, take a happy song. If you want to take a sad song, take a sad progression from a sad song. It's that simple. Eventually, after learning so many progressions, writing your own is going to be super duper easy. Step two, determining the rhythm. Now that we've chosen or ripped off our chord progression, we have to decide how long we want to play those chords. Do you want to play those chords for a long time? Do you want to play them for a short time? Do you want to hang on a few chords or rush through a few chords? The rhythm of the chord progression, it really dictates how the song feels. Personally, for me, I feel that happier songs, they kind of have a happier upbeat feeling, so they play the chords a bit faster. So, for example, And sadder songs they tend to have, you know, more of a long and lingering feeling, right? So let's long and like linger on those chords a bit. And so that's really what's going to determine the feeling of your song and to give that own unique feel. And that's really going to make it your own song. It's going to be the rhythm that you decide for it to be on. Let's look at the rhythm for the hit song, the straight banger, Hold On by Justin Bieber. Okay, the first two chords, C minor and B major, they're held on for one bar each, but the A major is held on for two bars. And this brings out that slight, kind of melancholic, lingering feeling it has while still being somewhat upbeat and happy, right? So it's two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I 
that little extra bar for that A major makes it a little bit more lingering while still maintaining that kind of upbeat feeling, right? So the rhythm is really, really important for deciding on how to make your song. But if you are a straight beginner and you don't really know, I would just recommend every chord is one bar. This is gonna make it easier for you to play, easier for you to think about melody over it, but you really gotta start thinking about that rhythm of the song. Step three, writing the melody. A lot of people think of writing the melody as step one, and that's because of most songs, let's do the melody, right? But no, 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 no. In songwriting, the melody is the last step. The melody is the icing on the cake. It's the stuff that tastes good, but without the actual bread on that cake, there is no filling, there is no sustenance to it. It's gonna to be too sweet. So we wanna make sure we write the melody last because we want that base of the chords and the rhythm to give us that inspiration for the melody. This is where you can let your imagination go wild. I would just play your chord progression that you like and just start humming whatever comes to your mind over it. And then that's really gonna help you determine a melody, right? So for example, if I were to do the Justin Bieber one. Da -da 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 how they started. They had the melody and they wrote the lyrics on later. Oh, by the way, when it comes to lyric writing, don't worry about it first. Write your melodies, get the actual song to sound good, and then you can add the lyrics later. That's how you start writing songs. That's how you start building it. Nothing was built in a day, bro. So just relax, take your time with it, and then you can write a banger-ass song. Let's put this into practice. So the other day, I was learning this song by Justin Bieber, and then playing the progression. I put it in a different key, and then boom, inspiration struck, and I wrote this little song. It's called a she, a she, sorry, my accent. It's called Little She Shanty. Okay, and let's, uh, let me just play a little bit of it here. song and just kind of tweak it a bit and bam you got a banger right there there is no need to reinvent the wheel if you like a song you rip it off and just change it a bit and boom you have your own straight banger peace out <laughs> oh like and subscribe